Hi friends, I'm Lolly, and today I'd like to read you a story. It's one of the stories in Gordon of Sesame Street's storybook. I love this book. It's got so many great stories in it. And this one is called Fisherman. Have you guys ever heard of Fisherman before? I never had until I read this book. Let's find out a little bit about what's going on in this picture. Hmm, it looks like a boat with fishermen on it. Way, way out in the middle of the ocean on a rainy, rainy day, there was a fishing boat. It was the only boat for miles around and the name of this boat was the Bad Ship Sloppy Slop. The Bad Ship Sloppy Slop, the sloppiest, dirtiest, grimiest, filthiest boat on the seven seas. Everywhere the Bad Ship Sloppy Slop went, on the ocean, on the seas, in the rivers, and on the lakes, the crew dumped garbage and trash overboard. Oh, they made the water dirty for fish and dirty for people. The captain of this boat was Greedy Grimes. Oh no, look at how much they're polluting the water. That's terrible. Now, if you think the Bad Ship Sloppy Slop was bad, you should have seen Greedy Grimes. He was worse than the ship. And the worst thing about Greedy Grimes was the greedy way he fished. You see, Greedy Grimes and his two crew members, Trapping Travis, the lobster lover, and Sardine Davis, the small fish man, lived on a little island called Dum Dum Island, just the three of them. But when they went fishing, they caught hundreds and hundreds of fish, many more than they needed. Oh. That is greedy, isn't it? Yeah, it's not good to like have way more than you need, right? Let's see what's next. Oh, why greedy Grimes would catch great big fish like tuna and swordfish, whoa. Sardine Davis, the small fish man, would get his nets filled with sardines and smelt in all kinds of little fish. And Trap and Travis, the lobster lover, would set hundreds of lobster traps everywhere. He thought that he could find a lobster. Look, there's Sardine Davis. Look at all the little fish he has. There's Trap and Travis. It says practically no lobsters in this area, but he's still putting a trap there just in case there's one. Now, on this rainy, rainy day, Greedy Grimes was sure that the bad ship Sloppy Slop was the only boat in the ocean. So he tried to catch every fish swimming and crawling. He and his cruddy crew caught bass and flounder and crabs and mackerel and eels and everything they could reel in a pile on the boat. And to make room for more fish, they threw all kinds of junk in the water. Oh. They tossed in tin cans, old papers, orange peels, old rubber tires, just plain junk and garbage, anything to make room for more fish. Oh no, look, not only are they polluting the water, they're polluting the air too. Not nice. Oh, oh my goodness, look at how much fish they have on the boat. Look, at an octopus, a whale, what? What's a whale doing on there? They piled so many fish on top of the boat that something began to happen. Something, something began to happen. The bad ship's sloppy slop began to sink. There they were in a sinking boat way out in the middle of the ocean with wind blowing and rain pouring and not another ship for miles around. When Greedy Grimes realized that his boat was sinking, because the fish were too heavy. Do you think he threw his fish overboard? Do you think so? No, he was too greedy. He just stood there and yelled and hollered, somebody somewhere save my boat and save my fish I caught. Oh, he's so greedy. Oh my goodness. Who's this? Fisherman. Do, do, do. Of course, there was only one man in the world who could save him. Only one man, and that man wore a gray costume with a black cape and a great black pair of boots and black leather hat with a mask over his eyes, and they called that man Fisherman. There he is. 
fisherman lived in the bottom of the ocean in a two-story water castle, and he was there to make sure that no one made the water dirty and that no one took more fish than he needed. Naturally, Fisherman had no use for greedy grimes, and he wasn't too happy about the bad ship Sloppy Slop or Trapping Travis or Sardine Davis. But when a boat was in trouble, even if it was the bad ship Sloppy Slop, it was Fisherman's duty to save the boat and everyone on board. So, when Fisherman heard Greedy Grimes yelling and hollering, he zoomed through the water until he came to the ship. Whoa! Look, there he is! He's saving all the fish! <gasps> right away, Fisherman knew what to do. He jumped on board the bad ship Sloppy Slop and took all the fish and put them back into the ocean. Yay! Then the ship was not as heavy as it was before, so it stopped sinking and floated safely on top of the water again. But instead of being happy that they were safe, do you think they're gonna be grateful? Say, thank you, fisherman. Not these guys. Greedy Grimes and his crew were angry because all their fish were gone. Fisherman, said Greedy Grimes, you had no right to throw all our fish back in the ocean. You're wrong, Greedy Grimes, said Fisherman. Your boat was sinking because you had too many fish. Now, not only won't you get your fish back, but I'm going to get all the garbage and junk that you've ever thrown in the water and put it back on your boat. Oh my goodness, look at him go. Look at all the trash. Then the fantastic fisherman scrounged up all the junk and all the water in the world and piled it on top of the bad ship Sloppy Slop. And in one great moment, he picked up the junky boat with one hand and swam back to Dum Dum Island. There, he dumped the boat, the junk, Sardine Davis, Trapping Travis, and right on top of this huge pile, Captain Greedy Grimes himself. And there they all are to this day, living in the bad ship Sloppy Slop, up on top of all that garbage, and wishing they were someplace else. There's the sign that says, Welcome to Dum Dum Island. Oh, there they are, at the very top. They can't even get to the water to fish. And they say, I wish I was someplace else. Fisherman, from the amazing Gordon of Sesame Street storybook. It's a good one. Thank you guys so much for reading that story with me today. I hope that you'll come back and read lots more with me. Have a fantastic day and remember, don't throw things in the ocean. Actually, don't litter at all, right? And try not to take more than you need. Yeah, we need to make sure that the world stays a good place. Thanks to fishermen, in this book, it did. I will see you later. Sending you lots of love and hugs. See you later, alligators. Bye!